All right, guys, so a lot of you are always asking me, how much is that coin worth, or how much is that coin worth? Uh, I don't really know. To me, the coins are priceless, but if you're really into that sort of thing and you wanna know how much the coins are worth, I would encourage you to jump over and check out Couch Coins. Uh, it's another channel on YouTube, and he makes really quick, to-the-point videos about what you can look for, coins that could be in in your change after you buy a cup of coffee at McDonald's that could be worth money. Um, so go ahead and jump on over. I'll link his channel down below. Check it out. He's growing really fast and he makes great quality videos. Uh, so make sure you go and check that out. But I'm going to go hit this field. I'm going to find myself some coins that are worth a lot of money. Um, probably not. I might find like a memorial or three. <laughs> but they can be worth money too. And I found that out on his channel. So go check it out. All right, let's go do this. Deep in the woods, deep in the woods, it was ringing real good. Phew. Ten inches down, ten inches down with a solid sound. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna it's take nice. you home with me. I dug it up. Oh. I dug it up <laughs> for my baby. Oh, it's a lizard. It's really hot today. The farmer just spread a bunch of chem near, so it smells pretty bad. Um, but it's no different than being over in the cow pasture. <laughs> so I'm gonna just like walk all the way down there and walk all the way back and hopefully find a nice big copper. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, that's where I started. That's where I'm heading. Then two cans and a bolt. I love fields. I have to try to say that like I believe it. I love fields. All right, we're getting somewhere. Let's keep going. All right, got my first coin. And the really sad thing is that it came from wherever the manure came from. <laughs> because it's all crusty. So, it's a memorial. I'm just gonna plant it here, and maybe in a couple years, it'll turn into an Indian head. Or like five Indian heads. Yeah, I'm not gonna play with that one. Good luck, little guy. All right, let's keep going. All right, I've been out here an hour and a half. I've walked that way, and I've walked that way, and I've walked all around, and all I found is cancel, a memorial penny, and a bunch of bullets. But I did just find part of a crotal bell that was on the surface. <laughs> so, that's not too bad. If I can find the whole one, or even like a bigger piece of one, I will have a good day. All right, I'm back up by the house. I spent two hours in that field, and I didn't get anything. <laughs> so I came out here, and I got this. Now, I can never tell if this is an ox knob or if it's the top of a fence. But it's a ball, and it's brass, I do believe. So not bad. This is like the one little corner where the person who was here before me did not hit. Because this is the one little 12 by 12 section where I've been finding stuff. So I'm gonna hit a little bit more. All right, I finally got something good out of this yard. I have hit this yard like two weeks in a row, like four times. I finally get something good, I hit it with my shovel and I break it. Uh, yeah. It's a nice shoe buckle. A really nice shoe buckle. It's got fancy on it and everything. See, the people who built this house were rich. They were really rich. And that's why when I got the permission, I expected I'd be popping up coins left and right. But somebody got to it first. And I can just imagine what they pulled out of here. So, 
possibly the oldest thing I've pulled out of this yard so far, besides the Conestoga bow. I got that 1948 silver quarter, and that was pretty decent, but I like the old stuff, so I'll take my buckle, and I'll keep going. Alright, so I just dug a lot. <laughs> Not terribly old. Stainless steel, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd be doing my happy dance. But it's a big honkin' watch, and I'll take it. All right, it looks like we might have a rainstorm coming in. I'm not opposed to digging in the rain, but if it starts thundering and lightning, I gotta roll. But I just got a weedy 19. Where are my glasses on? 26. I'll flip you around and show you. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking that's 35. I told you I didn't have my glasses on. Nice weedy. I've hit this yard pretty hard. I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I should hit between the sidewalk and the bush. And I did, and I just got this old fancy buckle. Not bad for a buckle. I guess it's a buckle kind of day. We got about 20 more minutes. But if I'm gonna find a buckle, that's the one I wanna find. All right, so these are the highlights. Three hours. And these are the keepers. That's part of a crudel bale. Timex. I was hoping for a Rolex, but I guess that'll have to do. Um, what I think is hardware. Of a piece of furniture. A sweet little black hole. It's an old one, too. And a shoe buckle. Oh yeah, and a little itty bitty weedy. 1935. So not bad. Quick hunt. But I got out and I got tan and I got exercise. So until next time.